Hey, what's going on, rock stars? Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Tonight's gonna be a little bit different in the video. For starters, I'm not appearing in the video. You won't see my face. Sorry about that, but I just wanted to show you my screen. I'm here on eBay, and I've had a lot of people messaging me recently asking what the best brands of clothing, the best clothing articles and items they should be buying for fourth quarter are and typically these are the same items you should be buying all year round now obviously look for anything that's profitable anything in your area you know get what's available to you some of the items that are the top sellers are not always available to everybody but there is a place which i have shown before in my videos where you can get a really good idea and a really good list to build now obviously i have made some videos with the top 50 clothing brands of women's and men's that I could think of. But the real way to see what's selling on eBay is to go to eBay. We all look at solds, but eBay's made it really easy for us. And you guys may have seen this on a previous video. They have a tab right here on your main eBay screen. You guys can see it, it says beta, but it's the growth tab. And when you click on the growth tab, you're gonna see next to it, the sourcing guidance. That's what you wanna click on. You want this sourcing guidance, and it's gonna bring up a list of all of eBay's categories. Now, of course, we're gonna wanna click, for those of us in the clothing and shoe accessory um, selling department, we're gonna click on that. Now, if you sell something else, you can absolutely go to the consumer electronics, you can go to the dolls and bears, you can go to health and beauty, whatever you sell, you can use this for a super good idea um, for uh, you know products and brands that you should be looking for because these are the actual items that are selling best on eBay right now. As you watch this video, these are the top items. So when we click on clothing and shoes, it's gonna bring us all of the different ones, men's and women's and et cetera, et cetera. So I'm just gonna go ahead and open men's and I'm gonna look at the, or the dress shirts and I'm gonna look at the t-shirts and I'm gonna look at casual, et cetera. I'm sorry, men's clothing, here we go. We're gonna look at dress shirts, we're gonna look at t-shirts, we're gonna look at um, casual shirts. And then we're going to close that, which I've got those three open in another tab already. And we're going to go down here to women's clothing and we're going to open that. And we're going to look at athletic apparel and we're going to look at tops and blouses. So that's going to be our first five categories that I'm going to look at. So let's go to men's dress shirts. And when we scroll down here, I want you guys to notice a couple of very important things. At the top, it's new and used. If you sell new clothing, you can certainly change it to new. But I know most of us sell used clothing. So this is gonna be specifically targeting those of you that sell used clothing. Come over here to the right-hand side. This is very interesting that eBay gives us this. It's a price breakdown. And it shows us all the items that have sold in the previous 12 months price average. Items selling above $500 is 0%. There are almost zero or there are zero items in the men's dress shirt clothing section that you're gonna be able to sell for over $500. There may be a rare in instance, maybe you get a rare vintage you know, uh, Gianni Versace shirt, silk shirt that's worth a fortune and you can sell it for 500. It's rare. Even the 100 to $500 items are gonna be rare. 1% of all sales fall in that range. Only 25%, a quarter of all sales fall in the 20 to 100 range. That's for used dress shirts. That means three quarters, 74%, almost three quarters of all used men's dress shirts sell for less than $20. And that tells you that the majority of the listings being placed on eBay are under $20, meaning your competition is stiff, the pricing is low, and the availability of high dollar items must not be very good right now. Because if they were available, like that Robert Graham shirt I sold or things like that, they would be listed. And you can see that when I sell stuff, you know, it's 15, 18, 16, 15, 12. Hardly many of them are over 25 and 30. I go out and source, you know, 20, 30 shirts and I show you guys two of them, three of them that I think will go for more than 20 bucks, which is exactly right. You know, at 20% of my 20 shirts, you're talking about four shirts. So there you go. So this also shows you the seasonality, the trends as we go through. You know, you can see that dress shirts sell really good in March and April. They take a big dip during the summer. That's obvious, June, July, August, September. And they're going to start coming back up and recovering right around December. We're almost back to the peak. So those dress shirts should start selling for you. It's pretty cool information you can see there. Now, when we scroll down to top opportunities in dress shirts, it gives us the best sizes, the sleeve lengths, the fit, the color, the top combinations, which is pretty important. But what's really, really key is they give us the top brands and it has a growth opportunity score. Now this score doesn't 
is that the bigger the number, the more likely that you can sell a dress shirt of that brand quicker. If you read the little tab right here, it says, this score represents how easily we think you can sell more of an item within a category on eBay. We look at recent sold items and compare them to current inventory and predicted demand. So they're looking at a possible supply and demand scenario. Um, we only show a score if we think it can outperform the category. We don't show neutral or negative scores, meaning the really low end brands are not showing you. The score alone shouldn't be taken as a guarantee of selling, but the higher the score, the higher the potential. So they're saying, you know, there's no guarantee you're gonna sell your Brooks Brothers shirt, but typically in most situations, it should sell faster than the other brands. So let's take a look at these brands within the men's dress shirt section. It's Brooks Brothers. It's Charles, is that Tierwit? I have never seen that or sold that. David Donahue, I have sold one of those shirts. Vineyard Vines, I've sold many, many Vineyard Vine shirts. Thomas Pink, never sold it. Heard of it, never sold it. Brioni, I've sold several. Robert Graham, I've sold many of. Hugo Boss, I've been looking for Hugo Boss lately. I have sold a suit jacket blazer and a shirt lately for really good prices. Polo Ralph Lauren. Now, I believe that Polo Ralph Lauren is probably on the high end because of some of the vintage stuff and because of just the sheer quantity that's available. And then you see Ralph Lauren below it. So you can scroll down and if you'd like to see a specific item score, let's say you bought a Robert Graham shirt or let's say you bought a Thomas Dean shirt, you can scroll down by the size, you can apply it, you can apply the brand you bought, the color, the fit, the sleeve length, and it will produce an individual score for that item up here, which you guys can try out. I don't know what you have, but feel free to check those boxes and look into it. It'll appear right here to the right. So there's your list of men's dress shirts. Really good place to start. And it's an awesome place because anytime I get Robert Graham or Hugo Boss or Brioni or Vineyard Vines or Brooks Brothers, they tend to sell really, really quick. Now, there are obviously many, many other brands of dress shirts that you can sell. Basiri Umo, Bugacci. I mean, there's plenty of dress shirts you can sell that aren't on this list. But these were the highest ones as far as eBay is concerned with the recent completed sold listings. So let's move on to T-shirts. Let's go to the t-shirts and click on the brands there. And we've got Supreme, which is super hot right now. Supreme selling really good. Again, Polo Ralph Lauren, Affliction always sells good. Nike, Nike Stussy, Lacoste, Harley Davidson, Bape, Vineyard Vines, and Under Armour. All brands you would assume would be on this list. I mean, I sell the crap out of Harley and Nike and Lacoste and Vineyard Vines and Under Armour. I sell all this. Polo we sell... Uh, a little bit of. I can't find Supreme and I can't find Stussy. I also can't find Affliction. So never get many of those. I don't find Bape. Uh, none of that is really in my area. But if it was, I certainly would be selling it. And look, these scores are up in the 70s, much higher than the other dress shirt scores. Let's look at the casual shirts. And let's check out the brands of those. Same brands, just kind of flip-flopped. Lacoste, Vineyard Vines, Under Armour. Travis Matthew, I've never sold or heard of. Armani Exchange, very popular. I get those time to time. Southern Tide, I've heard of, never sold. Patagonia, doing awesome, always appears in some of these lists. Untuck It, I've never heard of. And then Harley and Polo Ralph Lauren. So, I mean, just a good place to get some good ideas for brands. If you're stressing and you're scrolling through thrift stores and you want lists to put in your notepad and your phone, there it is. There's your list. So let's go to the next set, which is athletic apparel for women. You guys are probably going to be able to guess this. Number one. Nobody's surprised by that. Lululemon, Athleta, Nike, Under Armour, Fabletics, very, very hot right now. Fabletics doing good. Victoria's Secret, Prana, Zella, Alo, and Adidas. I don't know these two, Zella and Alo. Maybe you guys do. You women probably do. But these are all brands. When you're out in the stores, look for them. Put these, put these brands into a notepad. Save the images of their tags and their logos and learn them. Remember them. So when you're flipping through racks, you can just spot it and pull it out. When you're digging through bins, spot it and pull it out. And finally, we're going to look at tops and blouses here. Uh, LuLaRoe is obviously as hot as ever. Torrid, I sell so much Torrid, it's crazy. Eileen Fisher, uh, I've sold quite a few of her pieces recently. Flax, never heard of, never sold. Johnny Was, just sold that dress a little bit ago. Soft Surroundings has been selling good. Logo by Lori Goldstein, I've heard, I've never sold it. Catherine's, I've heard, I've never sold. J. Jill, even though the price is down, it's selling very, very quick. They're quick flips if you can get J. Jill and sell it, you know, buy it cheap, sell it fast. And James Purse, I've never heard of, uh, never sold. So here's some of your, you know, your most popular brands. And then you can go through and select any brand on their list. Look how long that list is. You can select it and get an idea of the score. If it comes up with like a 10, probably best to pass on it. If it comes up with like a 50, just under these, 60 under these, Good brand, grab it. 
So hopefully this helps you guys build up your fourth quarter list of what to buy, the best selling items on eBay. Um, you know, we can look into these more in depth if you guys want in a future video as, as fourth quarter moves along into October. Um, otherwise, you know, there are tons more items to look for, tons more brands. Don't rely on this, but this is just a quick way for beginners, for newbies, and even for some of you experienced advanced people, because like I've never heard of flax, but if I see it out now, I'm gonna know to grab it. And uh, logo by Lori Goldstein, I'll know to grab that. So this is good for everyone just to have a quick little resource to flip through and, uh, and check out. Uh, I, it does say beta. I think everyone has it now. Is that right? Does everyone have it now? It's not beta. Tell me if you don't have it, but make sure you check your My eBay um, growth tab and then sourcing um, guidance, which is right here. And that's all you should have to do. And then you guys can check the other categories if you uh, are interested in electronics or books or whatever it might be. Certainly welcome to check those out. So appreciate you guys watching. Enjoy your Wednesday night. I had a great haul. I uh, went to Salvation Army today. Maybe I'll do a haul video for you guys tomorrow or just a little sneak peek on what I bought, including some cowboy and cowgirl boots. Another item to add to your bolo list, any kind of cowboy cowgirl boots selling awesome right now. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Make sure you check out the description box. It has a ton of great information and links that you guys should check out, including my eBay store and Amazon links to all my products. See you guys next time.